And good evening. Welcome to Chile Joe Miller Field here on the campus of McNeese State University in Lake Charles, Louisiana. This is NCAA softball as the Cowgirl Challenge continues here in Lake Charles. In the season, to say the very least. Stepping in and bunting and falling down. They'll be able to make the play at first because Boone fell down coming out of the batter's. 2-1. That's ripped to right center. That's deep. Back and watching it hit the wall is Mundine. Brito is heading to third and diving in with a one-out triple. Pickering awaits. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Davis got the and a run scored. First pitch ripped to left center. Can anybody get there? That one is off the wall for extra bases. Ludlam stands at second with full count pitch ripped to center and off the wall for extra bases. Actually, they'll stop the runner at first as coming around to score is Ludlam Jennings with a screaming line drive off the left center field wall. The eyes and six runs scored. And a line drive into right, that's a hit. Runner will head to third, first and third, two down. And pitches a ball, the runner leaves uh -oh. first and now McNeese throws it away. But nobody's gonna be able to advance any further. Uh, there is an error up on the McNeese side the scoreboard as ball four from Sanders loads the bases. Hanson takes first and back on the infield with the bases loaded and two down. There's a pop-up. Will this one stay in play? Phillips the catcher back towards the screen. Makes the grab. Side retired. No further damage done. Oklahoma scores two. On to the bottom of the first we go. It's two on Marino and a pop to right. Coming in is Boone by the line. She makes the catch, one down. Coasted to the eight to one win. Poncho's a sophomore from Bazille, Louisiana, and a line drive to right, and oh, nice catch she by Boone. It. Oh, she got all got turned it. around as the wind. There's a looper to center. That one will be caught by Coleman on the run. It's another thing that Oklahoma does well. Their defense is excellent. Two yes. great plays in the outfield in that. Popped up on the infield. Reese Reyna at shortstop makes the call and the catch. And one out. Top of the second. And then was lifted. As the ball was rocketing around the field here. That one eats up Reyna and scoots past her into left field. We'll see how they score that. Reyna was just not in the right spot. Couldn't decide to charge it or back up on it. Got in between it. Boone on it first, and the pitch is to Brito. Popped right side. Caught by Torres. Ground ball up the middle. Touched by Torres, but on into center field it goes. That's a hit for Pickering teams in action. Try to check her swing, could not. They'll have to throw to first to get the put out. And there it is, two to three. Side retired, a hit, an error. A couple of runners left on base through an inning and a half now. It's two nothing. Here in the bottom of the second inning. Mundine awaits. Keeney delivers. Ground ball up the middle, that's a hit. First hit for McNeese. It's a leadoff single for some at first and third, looking for a double play at short and second. And this is grounded weakly towards second, flipped to the bag, and safe is the call. She didn't catch it. I don't think Jennings got it. Ground ball towards second, flipped to second out, and on to first, they turn the double play. Lilio to Jennings, and Jennings with a strong throw. Yeah. I think. I think they're going to keep the call out. Of course, I am wrong 
97.3% of the time on replays, at least in football, a uh, signal out. I've been there to witness yeah. the times you Count goes to three and one on the batter. Held up her swing and takes ball four. First walk. Ground ball towards second. A quick flip from Lilio over to Jennings. The force out is recorded. Fly ball to left. Moving over is Eister. Plenty of room and she makes the grab. First out of inning number three is recorded. Ground ball up the middle, moving over Torres. Throws high, but Poncho stays on the bag. Pop to center. Coming in and going out is Torres. Making the grab is the second baseman, Mariana Torres. So in the outfield with the wind blowing in as it is. Line drive, oh, bobbled, picked up now by Lilio and easily in time to get Reyna at first. Boy, in that first, Oklahoma was just knocking the ball around all over the diamond. Had four hits in that inning. Base hit to left. Marino got that one here. Ground ball left side, that's through for a hit. Same location as Marino's single, Poncho. Has hit number three for McNeese, and the tying run is aboard. Ending back in, and a 1-0 count. Kenny delivers. Ground ball towards second. Out at sh second. The shortstop relay is another double play. Well, those for the Oklahoma Sooners, she's 0 for 1. Shaylin Sanders delivers. It's hit towards short. Reyna up with it. On over to first, and out. ball towards second. Torres up with a high hop. Two down now here in the top of the fourth. Ground ball to third. Up with it is Ford. Throw is on target and in time. Side retired. In Swing and a miss. Another off-speed pitch. Yep. <laughs> it's a dilemma. Line drive right at Jennings. Shortstop makes the catch. Two quickly down in the McNeese fourth. Torres awaits. May comes home. Swing and a miss. That is a strikeout. May gets a strikeout in her. Popped up behind second. Who wants this one? That will be called for and caught by Mundine, the right fielder. Had a little bit of a snow cone going there as it nearly popped out of her glove. Two runs, five hits, no errors. Oklahoma, no runs, three hits, one error for McNeese. Ground ball towards second. Torres to Poncho for coming now from Sanders. Line to right. That will get down for a hit. Number six in the hit column for Oklahoma. It's a two out single. With the wind blowing, other than that, it's been a pretty fair weekend. 3-1 pitch is ball four. Jennings with a two out walk. Sanders with the delivery. Oh, uh -oh. and it hit her. Uh -oh. On the right arm, it would appear. And the bases are loaded full of Hanson back in. Swing and a miss. Sanders got her. And the bases are straight. Popped up behind second. Center fielder Coleman will come in and make the call and the catch. Eister is retired to begin this. Two runs for Oklahoma in the Top of the first, that's it in the ball game. Swing and a miss, down on strikes goes Dunham. 2-2 coming, and strike three. 
Down go the Cowgirls in order. One, two pitch. Rip to left. This one's got a chance and will sail into the oak tree. Sydney Sanders with a blast into the wind. Easily 250 feet. The solo blast gives Oklahoma a 3 0 lead. That was impressive. No doubter. The 0 1. Grounded towards third, Ford up with it backhanded. Nice throw on target. That's a nice play. Yep. And you the backhanded. backhanded. Had to backhand it and set up to throw. Sanders to the plate. A bunt. Sanders will field and throw. Scooped out by Poncho, and Boone is out at first. Sanders to Brito. Pop to right. Moving in Mundine and grabs it for out number three. Comes the one, two. And that's strike three called. Just got a piece of it. No, she did not. It's a swing and a miss. They'll have to throw to first to execute the put out and they do. Another full count offering. That's high. First base runner reaches against May. McNeese needs at least one more runner. Maybe they had a walk last night, did they? I, I don't remember I think one. so. Oh, and that uh -oh. hits Mundine. And first and second, two down. In a tough spot here against Oklahoma. Pops this one up. Foul ground right side. Will there be room? It is caught by Sanders. And the inning is over. McNeese threatened. They do not score. ULL. Right back here, except down the street. Swing and a miss. Parker. Set. Sanders toes the rubber. Brings home a 3-2 pitch. That's ball four high. Just is. 1-2 pitch, grounded left side. Reyna goes the short way for one, no chance at first. The force out is out number two. Be there. Sharply hit past Poncho. Out into right field, they'll send the runner to third. And with two down, there are runners on at the corners. That'd be big for Oklahoma here. That's ripped to left and caught. Eister moved a couple steps to her right and went down onto a knee to catch. Ground ball up the middle, that's a hit. He has a base runner. And their fourth hit of the night. The full count delivery. Popped in the air, shallow center. Coleman in, and now Hodge goes out and makes the grab. They'll discuss it. We count, and Munoz at second. Swing and a little number to third. They'll look the runner back to second and throw Dibley out at first. Cowgirls down to their last out. Maxwell deals. And it's strike three called. Gaspard retired. Cowgirls retired. Oklahoma with yet another victory, number 61 in a row. They are 8-0 and on the season. This was a fun game to watch in the cold weather.